Master Mario working his way through Lucius Bracket as well. Has to fight Hero Flash next. This is a very stacked Boy. bracket. There's 101 people here. All enjoying Smash Ultimate. Um, and it's such an impressively run tournament. So efficient. Three, two, one, go. And starting off game one, Cyro versus Charlie the King. This is winner's finals of Wednesday Night Fights. Uh, we got Roy versus Wolf on Pokemon Stadium 2. Man, and Cyro starting off so big. Wolf being a fastballer, I mean, those jab combos uh, definitely work well on uh, on him, especially that jab to F smash. And we saw what Cyro tried to go for with the counter, but unfortunately, Wolf does have that privilege, man. Grab the ledge just in time, and it's back to an even game. What up? Oh, man. Hey, look, it's the guy that you saw. Me. I know. He was in one of his finals. Now. I got something to oh, say. Okay, okay. It's not, yeah, yeah, not too bad. Not, not too bad. bad. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is winner's finals. Charlie the King versus Cyro. I mean, honestly, I mean, if you went off of seeding, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people would have predicted this winner's finals. Yeah, I mean, especially with killers like Elegant, K9, Pureflex. Oh, yeah. Like, this, this tournament was actually like crazy. It's like Raza was yeah, here Raza as well. Was here. Raza actually just beat Elegant and K9. Yeah, taking him out. Yeah, taking him out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's really, it, 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 it's a treat too. It's been a while since Razo has shown up to uh yeah. fights. And as a, I mean, the last part of battle was the last time I saw him play, and he did so, so well. Yeah. Yeah. So this arrow. Um, yeah. I believe he got 25th at the heart of battle. Which is like pretty respectable. Yeah, so like, considering, somehow. yeah, considering like the talent there. Ooh, man. Ward air to side beat. That is something I feel like a lot of the top wolves are getting a lot more confident in. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just, it's a matter of reacting. And that was sweet spot. Even if it doesn't kill, dude, you got it over, dude. The damage is just so great. Yeah, and it can kill as well. Yeah. Right? Eventually, right? Yeah. It, it, it's just so good. And, it, like, it's just such, like you said, it's even, like, damage-wise, when they're too far away to get that extension, like, side beat there. And it's so tilted. Too. <laughs> <laughs> just getting hit by it. Yeah. Like, wow, that really worked. <laughs> you know what's a tilter when you're, like, edge guarding Wolf, and they're just trying to get back on the stage, and then you get hit by the up Yeah, and then you, you get hit off. Yeah, like. That happened to the K9. Which yeah, you gotta watch out, man. Even if Wolf like does like a max space up B to ledge, the last hit will pop off before they get the grab exactly. the ledge snap. Ooh, dash up to what an anti-air. Yeah, dude, that up is so good at catching jumps and it's just so steep. It's basically an up smash, right? Yeah, and like it doesn't cover both sides, but it's such a huge hitbox. Like I would even argue it's just as tall or maybe even a taller of a hitbox than up smash. And if you're gold. And it is relatively uh, safe. Pretty much the, kind of almost like yeah. his up smash. And I was talking about that earlier. The jab combos are so good on a fastball like Wolf. And that is the most toasting thing. You're just yeah. standing there. <laughs> it sucks because you take a bunch of damage. Yeah. You lose your ledge trap. Like, yeah. it, it's so... I mean, you, oh, you're dead. You're so out. dead. And dude, Charlie even oh. reversed that down smash, I believe. As yeah. He was running, dude. yeah, he, he got the back hit. That was like the only justification. Is like, oh, it was the back hit, but Wolf's down smash is just so strong on yeah. both hits. Like even cross stage, like yeah. you're just done. Especially mm -hmm. on like a counter multiplier, and mm -hmm. it's like Roy's counter, so it's like particularly strong. Yeah, that was insane from Cyro, dude. Good call out. Yeah, I, I wonder if Cyro just doesn't. Uh, I, he he plays a handful of characters. Um, I know you saw Larry playing Falco. I was talking to him. He saw Larry playing Falco at Hat the other night, mm -hmm. and he said he shot and got that. And he was just like real quick. I mean, he was a Falco main. He in played Smash Falco um, today. He was set against Gear Flash. Yeah, against nice. the Rob. Um, he he said he wanted to do a bit more against this projectile carry. Yeah, that reflector is so so good. And now using the Roy against Wolf, uh, definitely. I, I feel like it's funny. I actually play this matchup a lot, just like in friendlies, and it feels like pretty even. Um, I, I'm not too sure. Like I'm no like super top level wolf, yeah. but but it just it, it generally feels like pretty even. It's pretty volatile. Both these characters have crazy damage output, exactly. crazy kill of power as well. Yeah, yeah, and Roy is able to give uh, Wolf a little easier with that counter. Yeah, but Wolf is just able to work on Roy. Yeah. yeah, both these characters have crazy air mobility as well, so they're going to be crossing each other up a ton. This is going to be a fast-paced match. Wow. He's behind it right behind him, scooped him right up with that up smash. Oh, big damage. Oh, but he dashed forward. Right there on that falling fair, the uh, angle he came at, he could have just gone for standing grab. But most of the time, you get the uh, the falling fair. If it's space, you have to go for the dash grab. So. Just muscle memory from Charlie. Yeah, exactly. 
Wow, the shield pressure from oh, Cyro, dude, that was... Jab, yeah, jab on block. Oh, wow, angle down. Uh, Wolf Flash there. Charlie racking up so much damage. He's still on his very first stock as well. And as you're saying, jab on block. Um, just safe until you go for a second jab. Then. This is unsafe. This is yeah. Okay, but I'm gonna take 71% here. Oh, but Roy coming in with that damage. And dude, that side B has crazy knockback. I've died at absurdly yeah. early percent. So it's such a good tech chasing tool, and sayo has been using it as a ledge option too. Yeah, very interesting. And it, it, it's very similar. I mean, I don't think it's as strong, but it's like pretty close to limit cross that. Especially if you get it right by the edge or like on a side platform. It's crazy how early Roy can kill with that. The ledge trap, you know, Wolf Ledge trap, he's just trying to spot dodge. Gonna spot him right back out with the port tilt. Almost pretty much like Wolf Sword. Wow, dude. Cyro is just microspacing so well around these aerials. He's gonna get the back air. Oh, not exactly. Yeah, center stage, maybe not. Here comes. Ooh, there's the back air on the ledge. And like you said, these jab confirms are so, so strong. But one difference is Roy has to hit, like, the knot. Oh, sour, sour spot. spot, yeah. That's one thing, like, oh, what a roll read from Charlie, evening it right back up. That covered a lot of options, too, even if uh, uh, Cyro went for a, a falling aerial. Yep, low profile. Yep, low profile. We'll turn into a pancake. Dude. Yeah, that, that's another very, very good thing about Wolf. Okay, at 0%. He didn't really have an, a lot of stage, too. Most of Wolf's would go for the down for dash attack there. Or, like, a double fair. Yeah, oh, Barry, but could he get much out of it because this um, fair was spaced from Charlie. Catching the landing with the dash attack. Oh, try to get that roll in. Yeah, that F smash is so strong. And the pullback is so great, too. Oh, yeah. And just the end lag on most of Wolf's smash attacks are fairly low, but yeah. the shield is looking low here for Charlie. Look, does that eruption break shield? Um, no, but I mean, at, at that, I think at that point he was kind of kind of going for a shield poke just oh, yeah. because the shield was so low. Very true. Shield pokes are so good in this game. That's how uh, Cyro won the last set. Yeah. I feel like, ooh, the call out though. But great DI from Cyro. Yeah. We live in here. Charlie trying to extend for this kill, but you got to watch out. You can't give Roy an inch. Yeah, because oh. he'll take a mile. Oh. Sends him a mile away with the F smash. Dude, he was like 70 or 60. Yeah. That's the price of sour spots. Yeah. And you get that one sweet spot and it's all worth it. Yeah, exactly. And I mean that that's where the difference with Roy and Crom it's very they're very similar, obviously, but they're different enough, I feel. Yo, Crom's one would have killed there. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. not. For, or probably. Actually it probably <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know, it, it's so hard. I, I feel like it's almost matchup dependent, like for certain matchups and stuff, because Roy does have sour hit confirms and stuff like that. And it's even uh slightly more consistent recovery. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like with directional air dodge, um Krom's recovery low key is better because like there's more situations where you can directional air dodge and live yeah. with uh Krom rather than Roy. And recover lower, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean some characters blow that up, so it, it's all matchup. I know I was talking to Cyro and he actually says that he thinks Roy's worst matchup is Peachy. Because, oh, okay. like, you can go for um, the, these down tilts and these jabs, but they don't hit. Yeah, oh, I've, you're good. I've heard down players say the same thing. But, like, with Krom, you can at least hit, like, tipper down tilt and tipper, yeah. tipper jab and still get stuff out of it. Yep, we've seen the success of uh, so James so James Boyd. James Boyd, yeah. Okay, but here's big damage coming out from Charlie. And he got a pretty early game with the Nutri Air. That's definitely a very prevalent, prevalent edge guarding tool that Wolf has. It, it's so gigantic. The yeah. move is like double the size of what you see. Exactly. And it's like a sword underneath it. <laughs> it's so good for edge guarding. Oh, oh wait a speaking minute. Speaking of good for edge guarding, gets the up B in. Yeah, Charlie had no, no options to make it bad. Yeah, no double jump. And such a tricky uh, situation to tech in. There's so many hits. You don't know when you're going to get. Yo. What option could you do there, I guess, besides jump? Like, yeah. If he did very good, that would have got scooped up too. Yeah. Charlie, oh, just. I, and I feel like a lot of old Fox players, if you're. If you really like ledge trapping with Fox with every, pretty much every time. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like Wolf has that style of ledge trapping. It's just broken. So yeah. it's. <laughs> You have like, oh no, that was unfortunate, dude. This is my last man. And Charlie got stuck under the ledge last time too. Well, the thing is with that, he did a directional air dodge when he was horizontal with the ledge. With spaces, you cannot do that. You have to be a little bit above the ledge because they 
they are able to grab the ledge five frames after their intangibility runs out. Most other characters, it's like two or three. Uh, so their directional air dodge, you have to be a little bit higher when you're going for the ledge snap, on, like on the ledge. So, oh man, that shield's so low. I, Cyro definitely could bring this out, seal it out with the 3-0, but Charlie's still with this very huge lead here. Oh, but we were at oh, that no. pursuit. Oh, oh my god. Dude, he went right in front of him. Dude, if he F smashed, he was so dead. No way. He shook. Yo, dude. He was shook. Yeah, he was shook, man. And he. Yeah. In the middle of your speech. <laughs> yeah. If he F smashed, he's a goner. And he's a goner, that. Man. Was I mean, that a 3-0 like in Winner's Final? That was a 3-0 in Cyro's favor, and this is. A big tournament for Cyro. Our PR, I mean, I feel like a lot of people's PR season is coming mm -hmm. to an end this month. So everyone is getting their last minute wins. Yeah. And right now, Cyro is stacking it up and now sitting in winner's side of Grands. Wow.